married my sister, now we're living together. Yeah. Roommates in law. Roommates in law, Roommates Tom. in law. We are back, Timothy. I'm uh, Tim Smith. I'm Tommy Schneeman. We are not roommates. Not brothers in law. But we are uh, good, friends. good friends. Just a couple of good pals, Jeff. Huh. We're a couple good friends, and we got our first ever guest on Holy the Holy crap. We got New York Jeff Ra- Asmus in the house. We got a mistake in the making right here. <laughs> the king of New York is here, the crown prince of Staten Island. <laughs> oh, the, yeah. Jeffrey The Asmus. grand poobah of Gowanus is here, everyone. There That's he is. How you feeling? Uh, good. Ba- just moved back to New York City a few hours ago. And Jeff just been here for two hours. And he said, "Where are we going to?" Already got sucked off by a Dominican. <laughs> <laughs> Kids ready to grind. I'm back. Oh my! I love before me. the pod. You were like, "Can I say anything I want?" We we're like, "Sure." And you're like, "I'll keep it together." Yeah, yeah, maybe say I'll I open go. up again. Sucked off by a Dominican. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's pretty light. Everyone can relate to We've that. We've literally been recording for 58 seconds. Yep. <laughs> you got it. That's how you find out if people really want to listen or not. They're either gonna tune out with that riff, or they're gonna keep going and. Have a great Not time. a bad point. All right. Well, I hope you guys liked it. Not a bad point. I can't tell you how many times I've heard when Drago was up here a few weeks ago, how many people would come up to Drago and say, oh, man, I just love that podcast with Jeff you do. Yeah. Oh, really? And you could see Drago's face just like. Wait, why did he? Well, because he wanted together, them to hold it together. He wanted them to talk about his stand-up instead. I mean, I well, don't know. Oh. <laughs> I, uh, I, uh, I, I made him mad at me the other day. Uh, what, what for you? context, you guys, Jeff has a great podcast called "You're an Idiot." Uh, with it's, Alex it's very Dragovich. Fun. It's with our other good friend Alex good Dragovich. Drago. Once again, he will never be on this podcast. Never. No, not a chance on earth. <laughs> no way. He'll never have the guts to move to New York, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> he did have the smallest possible role in a roommates in law sketch, though. Oh, wasn't he a dead, dead body? body he was number a dead four. body. <laughs> he was. There was only one dead body in the sketch, but he was dead body number four. <laughs> he did. Yeah. <laughs> he kind of <laughs> nailed it, though. <laughs> That's I about his physical job. range. <laughs> his range of emotions. <laughs> He was probably trying to look sad as a dead body. But well, we had him out. covered up in a tarp most of the time, so <laughs> <laughs> it was fine. That sounds. Oh, you're gonna need a big yeah. tarp for that guy. <laughs> he's, he's pretty tall. <laughs> he's pretty tall. Oh, boy, you went from sucked off to a Dominican, <laughs> or by a Dominican to the softest, the softest riff yeah. of all time. <laughs> he's pretty let's tall. Find that, let's find that. Place need a in big the middle, riff. It's called float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. <laughs> Muhammad Ali, Cassius Clay. That's how it goes. <laughs> Here's a question. Here we go. How tall do you think I am? You? Yeah. I'm taller than you. That and wasn't I'm, what I asked. I'm six foot by the grace of God. Oh, you are not. I am. See, Tim's Absolutely. got a complex. No one ever believes you when you're six foot because all these people have lied over the years. I'm six well, foot. Well, I'm taller happened. than you, and I'm not six feet. Yes, you are. Oh, boy. You got to believe in yourself. Sometimes well, Tim's it's like, five, six. Here we yeah. go. I'm five Tim's foot Tim's five, four. six, and 73 years old. <laughs> <laughs> When I was 28, I was six feet tall. Yeah, but I've yeah. shrunken down over the I years. I bet you're five ten, Tom. Thank you. Why? I'm five ten and a half, wow. which is important. That's you were good. Wrong. No you one were... does halves. Yeah, That's... you got to get rid of the. You got to get rid of the. But half. here's the thing: when you're five, I want to say five eleven, and by I want to, I mean I do <laughs> say five eleven. <laughs> oh, but I want to lie to because people because I am five ten and a half, but. It sounds pathetic saying five ten and a half, but I can't lie to myself and say five ten. Do you count the hair? No, I'm six foot two with the <laughs> Yeah, hair. I'm like yeah. you got that Jimmy Neutron curl. Yeah, and no, but like five ten and a half kind of feels like like the uh the thirteen year old that's like I'm thirteen, I'm 13 and, a and, half. and a half. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Where do you think 14? this is stemming yeah. from, Tim? <laughs> Maybe this is stemming from being a thirteen year old who's four foot two. Four foot two and oh, a half. Oh, that's and that funny. half counted. The word the uh, Thirteen being four two isn't that That's, bad. No, thirteen. What was seventeen that, being four eleven is way well, worse. Four eleven at and would be tough. <laughs> sure, yeah. Were you I think four eleven when you were seventeen. No, I was five three. Okay, it's the same difference. Okay. It's not great. Yeah. I was four eleven my freshman year of high school. God, you were still probably the alpha. I hit. Of the I hit theater five department. foot. Yeah, I wasn't. <laughs> I was about to say probably still no. No, I wasn't. I thought I was gonna be, and I. You thought you were gonna be king puss of the theater department. Yeah, no, it was. uh, It was just just a lot of people having their hand on Tommy's forehead and him just swinging wildly. (laughs) That was a metaphor for my whole high school experience. That's why I ran for student council. Were you beat up? 
You weren't bullied. No, you no. were well liked, I bet. Oh yeah, I was. Yeah, yeah. you were popular. I, I was. I was riffing and raffing. He was. I bet Tim time. was a bully. I was not. Really? <laughs> We've talked Dang about this so it. many times. I, I was not. You would be. I mean, I was. I was ribbing people. We were having a fun time. Yeah. I never went after somebody that couldn't. Uh, Damn. Defend themselves. I was a bully. Were I you? bullied like we one bullied person a couple kids good. pretty pretty brutally. Wait, you uh, wait in high school psychologically, like not going physically. out of your way, like they yeah. didn't do anything to you. But were this they like the cool kid. jock guy uh, that you would no, tell? Would you like to apologize? No, it was a loser named Pat Boyd. Oh, <laughs> Jeff, say his name. Jeff, Pat McMillan. <laughs> give him a, wait, give him an apology. What he kind of bullying are we talking about here, Jeff? Okay. So oh god! It's kind of a long con bully. So it, <laughs> it, hockey's a big deal in high school in Minnesota. It's like a huge deal to be on yeah. the hockey team. And this kid wanted to play hockey so bad, but he couldn't. He was just bad. So he was the team manager. Right. He like, and he was like the little bitch. All the hockey players yeah. like, give me a, give me water, Pat. Get my pads, Pat. And He's everyone, literally a towel boy. It, he was a towel boy, but he was like really proud of it. And so we did a thing where we carved his oh, name into God. every desk we sat in at school. And then he would be get, he'd get brought to the principal's office like every week, like Pat, oh why are you carving your name in all these desks? Oh, that's not so that's bad. It's like a weird long con. It's a okay. long con I prank. Thought it, I thought you were gonna be like you printed out like a fake. Oh, we like actually kids who made the hockey team. This oh, and he did, got all excited. Uh, we, I did a, we did a different thing senior where we made posters that said Pat Boyd for Mr. Hockey, and we started a voting campaign for him to win Mr. Yeah, see, hockey. That's <laughs> and this, yeah, see, that's the one you should have. That's brutal. And this, this is because this this man did nothing to you. He did correct? nothing. Yeah. He was kind of our friend. We would have called him a friend, but we were really cruel. And I wow, was, we're sorry, Pat Boy. Oh, whatever. Oh, you first got a guess, bully. this was a huge mistake. <laughs> what happened to Pat Boy? What is he up to? Yeah, now? I don't know. I doubt it's maybe going check well. in on him. I should. I should. Yeah. yeah. I. This I, guy is currently I'm not purchasing sorry. an AR-15 <laughs> in Texas. <laughs> oh my God, he's gonna get me. <laughs> uh, I've got a few enemies. I think. Oh, you guys don't have an sure. enemy. I would yeah. imagine. I, bullied, but I don't know I why. I bullied one guy in like, in like sixth grade pretty unpromptedly. There we go. That's not even that's a not word. Unpromptedly is not worth no. it. Yeah, I'd say in middle school I was probably a bit of a piece of shit, but I don't know. High I was school, projecting. I was all right. I was projecting insecurities. It I wasn't my I was, fault. I, don't know, I wasn't probably. projecting. I'm just a cruel <laughs> man. <laughs> I enjoyed that. Actually, there was a guy in Cincinnati that uh, I lived there like fourth to sixth grade. Oh. And there was this guy who played basketball, and I, apparently I was a massive piece of shit to this guy because <laughs> my brother went to visit some friends in Cincinnati, and he saw that kid. We went to middle school with him, and he goes, hey, man, my name, I'm Steve. I'm, I'm Tim Smith's older brother, oh, and the guy no. goes, Tim Smith? <laughs> I fucking hate Tim. <laughs> <laughs> How many years later was this? I like twelve. <laughs> oh my god! Twelve. Oh, to man, this guy was like an later. adult now. What did oh, you do yeah. to him? I don't. He was on the basketball team, and he's you know he's he bad. Stunk. Oh come on! I, you I, can't I be imagine. mean at, to someone for being bad at sports. Hey, yes, Tom, I was in can. sixth grade. Yes, uh, fifth, sixth grade. <laughs> I bet it made him quit, and I bet he found a different path in life. He I bet also Tim grew saved up to be about 6'6", 380 pounds. Oh, Whoa. he's f he's a big one. If I saw him, I'd be, in a, <laughs> I'd be in a world of hurt. Oh, my God. He's just one of those God, massive people. God, it would be amazing people. if you just got the shit kicked out of you Tim randomly. Tim Smith? I fucking hate Tim Smith. What he if just, you two were in Cincinnati? He said, oh. he, he, said he just had, like, like his eyes were black when he said it. Oh, oh yeah, this guy's gonna like run you over with his he's car. Gonna, when you do go bananas in Cincinnati, <laughs> yeah. he's gonna rush the stage and just clock you. <laughs> Tim's just gonna be bleeding in a God. pool of blood on stage. It'd hey. be a good clip though. It'd be a great clip. So, do numbers for what's sure. What's this guy's name? Huh, I'm not saying it. Oh come on. Well, I said if you name. know, if you happen to listen to this, just give me a heads up so I can film. Uh, yeah, <laughs> before you I mean, do it. that clip is gonna do numbies. I'll film in 4K. I mean, Audience we'll bring the nice destroys camera. Destroys former bully. <laughs> don't you? Kind of, you kind of want someone to storm the stage at this point. Oh, as long God, as they don't amazing. inflict mortal harm on me, I'm getting 50 followers at least. From easy, that. Easy. easy, easy 50. I'll knife crime. I'm getting 120. <laughs> yeah, you pull a knife on me, I'll I'll let you stab me. The I'll lift up my shirt for you. It'll find. <laughs> <laughs> You're like right. No, it's kind of a thick shirt. You're gonna want to lift it up. Actually, I love this shirt. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't want it to rip. <laughs> That's a brand new shirt. 
<laughs> oh man, one oh, of us will. Who will, who's more likely to have the someone storm the stage? You, you. for sure. You Always. could be Tim. Tim can get mean with crowd yeah, too. Yeah, maybe a couple. I'd of say us. Tim's more of a dark horse candidate, but I. I would say it. it's it's clearly out of us three. It's obviously you. Yeah. Yes. Me flirting with second place. Tom obviously last. Tommy's more likely to go into the crowd and hit someone. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't even know why. I don't know. Why, why would Tom ever do that? That would be funny. Oh, man. Because all be the crowds Tom plays for, for all yeah, of his friends from college just, and his family members. I just start really... <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> God, we just did an episode where, t- where Tim really congratulated me on, 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 a, Caroline's. on a fun night at Oh, Caroline's. we're having fun! This oh. is going to come out a month later. No oh, one's going to know. Okay. Oh, they'll get it. We're having a good time. Yeah, I heard Caroline's went well, or we're not talking about it because it's so long ago. That was a fun time. That was a good time. Great time. Heard it was good. Tom turned it in. Heard Tim turned in a stinker. That was oh, the worst. Really I'm bummed. kidding. I didn't no, hear did it. I? Yeah, it was, it was no, tough. I heard everyone crush. It was fun. Probably, I'm, how many people ended up going? 160 Jesus I did that Three years ago 45 people <laughs> showed up I spent $200 On Facebook ads You know I mean the, it's the ads hard didn't to do get, shit The ads don't do anything I, I put 50 bucks Into an ad And I spent 17 Like it sends oh, you yeah, The it receipt Because I ended it money. After two days And it was like You spent $17 And it went out To like 800 people Yeah it's I was like, like In New York What is Zuckerberg doing well, that's no one's gonna be like, oh shit, yeah. Let me cancel my New York plans to see this guy I've never seen before. <laughs> well, I, yeah, you're right. Well, I, I tried promoting our the the actual good promo we made. Oh right. Oh yeah. And that it took promo forever ripped. to kick in, and then by the time it did, it was like day of, and I just ended it. Boo, and it was like you spent stinks. seventeen dollars. One hundred and sixty ain't bad. That's not fun. bad at all. It was a good, good time. Good time. King of New York. Yeah, some people are saying King it. Of New York. A lot of people, people are, are throwing it. it out there early. Dang. I'm Mostly gonna get out of here. Tom's Mostly friends me. and family, but uh, <laughs> people are saying it. Unbelievable. <laughs> Jeff, we were talking about this earlier. Nobody makes fun of each other here. Oh, I, you, two, you two don't make Oh, like comics in New yes, York? Yes, everyone's too overly nice. They all nice. think we're like yeah. really mean. They think because they're all trying to get something from each other. So That's, they're not. Yeah, it's all like fake friends. That it's was all my fake theory. Is like in Chicago, there's really nothing real to get. Yeah. So you can just kind of dick like, around. What are you going to not give me a spot at Laugh Factory? Yeah, and everyone here, they're like, you're the most amazing person I've ever seen in my yeah, life. Yeah, they're, they're like, like, holy oh, wait, shit. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Love your podcast. Love your sketches. <laughs> holy fucking shit. It was so fun. We were, it was, it was me, Tim, Matt, and and Drago, oh, and boy. Laura Peak was hanging out with us. Who yeah. she's riffing and rapping. She's, she's riffing. in the mix, but but she sure. at, at some point just goes like, "You guys are so mean to each oh, other." God. <laughs> to each other, who cares? Yeah. Who cares? It was like, I mean, no one could no one could get a word in without you say anything. And I mean, we had all been riff, riff, yeah, we had all been drinking a little bit. We were we were pretty loosey goosey. Probably line of the night goes to the sweet man, Matt Kennedy. Matt Kennedy. Yeah. Drago, Matt's talking about God knows what. <laughs> and Drago just kind of like like audibly sighs, just letting everybody know he's bored. Yeah. Matt oh. goes, hey, hey, we'll, we'll get back to dating in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll talk about a blonde in the vicinity. <laughs> Oh, that sounds that about right. Very, very if you funny. can't take a few riffs, I don't really respect you as a comedian. Yeah, it's people are all nice and shit. God, what are also, we doing here? That's what friends are literally for. That's I mean, the like, whole point of friendship yeah. is that you can yeah, it's fun. beat each other down a little bit. You yeah. don't make fun of a stranger unless they deserve it, but a lot <laughs> of them do. Unless it's whoever you, the fuck that guy was at the the hockey player in your oh middle yeah school. Pat Boyd, Pat Boyd. Pat Boyd. No. Pat Boyd. Did deserve it. he deserved everything he got and Shout more. Out Pat, hope you're dead. Wish we would have. <laughs> he's not. I did. <laughs> I did see him on Facebook recently. <laughs> I believe he has a family, and I hope, I'm they, sure he's I hope they're better great. at hockey than you are, Pat. <laughs> 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 oh, they're better than you are. That's all I'll say. Yeah, you can't really talk shit in New York in the same way. You have to do it in like hushed tones. Yeah, it has to be like one on one. You can't be in a group because like people have friends you'd never think they had, and you don't know where the friend groups extend in New York. Yeah, I have heard some people that I'm like, oh, I respected you. They'll be like, they'll say like someone who I think is trash is like one of their favorite people. Right, and you're like, oh yeah, I love them. Yeah, I've seen them. They're everyone's just great. This, yeah, Yeah. everyone in New York, great set, man. You fucking (laughs) cheers to you, New York. Man, the silence was incredible. How'd you do that? (laughs) (laughs) How did you get silence? the whole time. I'm trying to do that, too. <laughs> you just got to say nice stuff to everyone. God. All right, Jeff. But that's no fun. I, no we got fun. a couple. Co- we have a couple. A couple. Uh, 
uh, questions on the pod that have been recurring debates okay. between me and Tim. And as go. our first guest, we got to get your input. We'd on We'd love to put the final gotta nail in the Tim, coffin. Would you like to uh, pose the age old gray or balding question? Would love it. I think we've gone over this. What is Tim Gray or balding? No. <laughs> oh. I was like, that one's easy. <laughs> oh. Tim's like, is that up for debate? I was like, Wait, <laughs> fuck. Uh, what? And now listen to my question here and don't give me a knee jerk answer. Okay. Everybody gives a knee jerk. I'll give you a jerk answer. There we go. <laughs> Come on, we're a little is. fun. We can not going to be on the knees. We though. can edit that out. Um, <laughs> what ages you quicker going gray early? Or going bald early? Bald, for sure. See, this not is... Not even close. You're not even thinking about the question. <laughs> it's, it's this obvious. makes no sense. Tim bald keeps saying eight. these are knee-jerk answers wait, because say, they're the answer yeah, that he doesn't like. Yeah, you can't like. just say that it's knee-jerk. Wait, you think gray hair wait, ages wait, you what, bald? Here's what you're doing. Here's what you're doing. You're mistaking what would you rather or what looks better. I'd rather I'm have asking, gray hair. I know you would. Oh, yeah. But that's not what ages you quicker. But you don't want to age. Right, so it's kind so of it's the same thing, basically. No, what? I don't want to age. No one wants to look older than they are unless you're like 13. Well, but, no, after that, that. but after that, you want to look right, younger. Right, so what ages you and what would you prefer often are, the are same, hand Pretty hand. much the same thing. They're not always, but they're often That's not true, because you can see a, a morbidly obese guy, and you're not like, what, is he 100? You're right. like, oh, he's just a fat 22-year-old. Everyone, everyone's beautiful. That's <laughs> fucked up. As one of the premier body positivity advocates in America, everyone's hot except for all of my ex-girlfriends. <laughs> no, I, I'm just kidding. They're beautiful. Love you, babes. Uh, uh, they, they all listen. <laughs> they all listen. Oh, they'll be listening. You don't think that's an easy bald, bald, easy answer. I mean, answer. 10 See, out of 10 people answer bald. That's no, not true. No, you have like one hour. No, it's like, here, but I'll tell you this. It's always another gray-haired king that understands because they're like, <laughs> Yes, I, I get mistaken for like a 55-year-old man because of the gray. Because here's the thing. This is what nobody thinks of. You can go bald at 22, and everybody's like, oh, it's just a bald guy that went bald at sure. 22. But if you're going gray, people typically don't start graying until they're early, mid-40s. Not true. Oh, no, not that's true not true. All. No. You went gray Late 18. 20s. Late 20s. Yeah, you went... I've seen gray 20-year-olds many times. Also, many times. Also, yeah. the, the key word, I think, is balding versus bald. Because we've talked about the, the, the stubborn balding is the oldest, the thing oldest imaginable. you can look. Ball, fully that bald? It's the worst you can look. <laughs> yes, it is the, it is the worst you can losing look. Losing like 70% of your hair is the worst look imaginable. And not losing shaving all the it hair, all. Yeah. And, you're, and you're trying to rearrange it. On yeah, the head you got oh, And got there's a like a lot of product involved. Oh, you're moving it around. Yeah. Ooh, it's a real, uh, yeah. just a fucking jigsaw puzzle. Just retreat. You're yeah. holding just on. Let it go. What are you it's holding fine. on for? You ever, you, but do you notice when the guy finally does shave it off, you're like, Good for you. Good for yeah, you. Yeah, and it. It's like we finally got out of better. Vietnam. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what were we holding on to there? <laughs> Uncle Ray, good work. <laughs> Incredible. Uncle Ray? I don't even have an Uncle Ray. <laughs> I love making up uncles. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, no, yeah. bald, obvious right. answer. Well, another wrong opinion. What's the next one? Give me another one um, for daddy. Okay. Uh, actually, this is more of a. So Tim has famously made insane decisions on the road when it comes to what to eat. Oh, I've heard a little bit about trips. this. Okay. He has famously eaten Panda Express for breakfast Delicious. on more than one occasion. That's disgusting. Well, he apologize. got uh, disgusting. just to summarize his order at 10 a.m. Panda Express. It was Ooh. two orders of teriyaki chicken mm -hmm. and an order of broccoli beef. What? That with, is with, a, <laughs> with more fried rice than you can dream of. It was oh. delicious. How much money was it? It was 48 bucks. <laughs> Wait, that's you ordered three separate it's entrees? Three entrees. Well, it's a part of a combination platter. Oh, okay. So it was only like 15 bucks, probably. It's still pretty expensive. That's a lot, but yeah, <laughs> but like too much for me. <laughs> I didn't. I, Tom I just, got like a McMuffin. It was. <laughs> I, well, yeah, that's what you McDonald's should get at McDonald's was 10 open right next to it. This was in one of the well, oases. I'm sorry. Chinese food is not for the morning. No. Not, they they do not have a breakfast food. Did not even consider McDonald's when I saw Panda. This was at the Decalb Oasis. Oh, and did you eat it in the car? 
every single bite. Oh, while driving that S- sitting stench, next to me, that stench, yeah. that glop. <laughs> I didn't even look up from the that, to go uh, container. I don't know if you took I just a breath, shoveled it in. Don't you do? You, I, if I ate that, I would be farting for three straight hours. Too. No, it wasn't. Were you I'm not. Big, you weren't farting. A big fart situation. Oh, okay. I just finished it. And I was like, I just feel really uh, bad. Yeah, he was doing oh, the thing. He, he, he was like, you're trying to he's trying to it stretch all out. out in the oh, car. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Trying to do that. Did you eat it all? You better believe it. Oh, how many calories do you think that was? Got to be 2,500. 2, yeah. yeah, at least. Oh. Got to be 2,000. No, yeah. that's insane. I'm against that. Thank I'm you. very against thank that. You, thank you. Well, well, I'm so, 0 for so 2 here. Leading to my question. I can't believe they Wait, were open. Also, I just want to clarify. Same. I'm pro farting in the car. Yeah, farting rips. No, no farting, problem there. Because you're like, if I ate that, I'd be farting. I got no problem with that. You just roll the window down. Be honest about it. It's fine. I don't I, even I roll, no we're all don't roll the window down. Feel it. Live in it. If you're by yourself, yeah. For no, sure. with no. friends. No, with learn friends. each other's. Stank. I'm never living in a fart. I don't understand these people that you ever where people are like, "Well, you don't like your own blend." Oh, I, love, I do. No. I, oh, love I absolutely smelling do. My own farts. Oh, I absolutely do. why? Yeah, I don't. If I, don't, I don't know. if I didn't like the smell of my own farts, I would have killed myself a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> because that's something I gotta live with. I'm farting every three minutes since 1996. I'm li- mm. I farted three times while we've been recording. <laughs> <laughs> it's mostly just n- gas, but sometimes. I mean, I'm nothing. rolling down instantly. I By have, yourself, you're I'll, rolling down the window immediately. What That's are you doing crazy. that night? I want to have Dutch nothing ovening? to do with my farts. Are you Dutch ovening at night in the bed? What do you mean? In the bed? No. What do you do? Do you get up to fart? No. Oh, you just, sh- you're holding in farts left and right. No, That's I don't hold them in. You. I've looked it up. It's bad I never for hold you. in a fart. So what? But I'm not the guy that's like enjoying smelling a fart. Oh, it's fun. You know it's what I'm fun. saying? Yeah, no. Nah. Uh, I mean, Jeff, I how about relate. this one? You're a you're a relationship guy. Tom wouldn't understand. Yeah, I had a relationship. <laughs> <guy>. <laughs> Pussy king. <laughs> I think are the, you? Uh, it's the opposite. Yeah, actually, actually. that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> are you? Uh, uh, are you a guy that's farting in front of your lady? Oh yeah. Okay. Otherwise, I could never see her. Are you a guy <laughs> that is okay if she farts in front of you? Yeah, I love it. Okay, I think it turns okay. me on a little <laughs> I love bit. It. That's what she. I, she because, didn't do it for ahead. a while, but then she started farting about three or four months ago, and now I'm like, oh, you let it rip. You got to do it. Let it go. Because there are people in the world. We know one. Who? Who? He's like six foot six. Oh, uh, <laughs> he won't fart in front of women. Yeah. Or he thinks uh, yeah. they shouldn't be farting in front of him. Yeah. He also doesn't think they should run for politics <laughs> either. So <laughs> we got to work on the farts than Hillary running for president. Oh, my God. <laughs> you got to fart. Farting is cool. You got to get it out. I fully agree with that. Burping is for losers. That is disgusting. I think farts are cool. Burps are gross. Well, really? burps I are hate a lot, burps. Burps are a lot sharper. Yeah, if I smell a burp, I'd rather smell a fart. Yeah, Absolutely. burps, you kind of have, you're like, it like <laughs> hits you. You're like, what the fuck is that? It feels like you're taking in some calories. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, some, yeah. Some, it's like acidic. Yeah, it's like a little your, too much. Your body wasn't even good enough to digest, digest the food. <laughs> That's weak bitch shit. Burps. That's for betas. Burps are betas. <laughs> Cheers to that. Cheers Jeff. to that. Burps are betas. Burps are betas. That. There we go. Uh, also, uh, okay. So, okay. So that was my, so my follow up question to the road meal thing. It wasn't just to shit on Tim. That's what it turned into. <laughs> yeah, I was like, well, this really took a turn. <laughs> I was like, here's this a question sucks. for you. How much does Tim suck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this weirdo. <laughs> We've been batting back and forth for six months. Uh, no. What is your what's your road meal? What do you try to eat? Like in uh, the morning. But you're not like yeah, but you're not. In the morning, you think Jeff has a road <laughs> meal? You think Jeff thinks in the advance? The second I said this out loud, <laughs> I don't. Like, I don't eat this breakfast. This is so dumb. On the road, I never. I've never been up for continental breakfast. Do you I, have anything that? No, I miss continental. I breakfast I get the beef stick too. and cheese at the gas station. Every, you're judging yeah, my. That. You're judging my panda order. But I'm not at 10 a.m. I'm at 2 p.m. or something. That's. I don't, I don't know eat. if that's better. Isn't that funny? When they when you check into the hotel and they're like, breakfast is from 6 to 9. And I'm like, yeah, I'll be there. I'm always like, I'm, hell yeah. I'm well, you almost want to be like, let me stop you right there. <laughs> yeah. I don't need any more details about what's happening at 6 a.m. Unless there's some sort of <laughs> substitute program where yeah. I could opt for a late lunch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what's available at 2 a.m. Because that's there's no way yes. I'm up at 6 a.m. Could you just prepare some of it right. early? Yeah. <laughs> the nev- bar will be open at 2 a.m. And that's <laughs> what I'm looking for. Thank you so much. Never wake up before noon at <laughs> hotel no I, I love sleep. I, sleeping at a hotel is one of the best sleeps you'll ever get i missed my train last weekend from boston here because i like i, I just really? i was like i'm not getting out of this bed it's too and comfy you got on a train the wrong way right I, no i booked a ticket in the wrong direction oh god in what direction I, where were you going to maine yeah that's where really that's where it would have gone <laughs> wait so did I, you know before mode. you got on the train 
Yeah, I didn't. Go. Oh, okay. Oh, but I was damn. standing there, and I'm starting to like. I'm seeing the cities that it's listing, and I'm like, none of those were on the other oh, one that I had. Wow. So I, I, I just finally asked someone. Montreal. Going, hey, is this is this ticket? Is this train going to New York? They go. That's the uh, complete opposite. Oh track. wow! You were smart I enough to like ask. Sick. I would have just been like, nah, I'm probably wrong. Got the on thing the train. is, I, I wouldn't have asked in New York. Right, Boston. But Boston, notably nice city. Oh, notably <laughs> yeah. kind, yeah. To the Irish. To the Irish. That's right. Here, Tom them. and I have jumped on the wrong train a few times here and just had no clue how to course correct. And we're like, we're not asking anybody in this city how to find the new spot. Oh, no, you can't. We were just figure it out. an hour late to a show. What? Mm -hmm. How? What did you do so we, badly? We got on the wrong train, and then we missed a stop when we got on the right train. And then oh we had to walk back God. to a different train. Oh, my God. Well, we were so no. relieved we were on the right train. We just kind of were just like, all right, let's attention. kick back and relax. We started riffing. Yeah. <laughs> and then what do you know? Well, like, fuck, how crazy that was, where was we it that we took off. the wrong train? And then we're talking about that, and I'm like, I think we missed it. I love the train. I'm excited to be back. This is autistic paradise. This <laughs> There's place. Are oh, you going from the M to the J? Oh, which stop are you on? I can't wait to memorize it. <laughs> I'm going to memorize all the train stops. You do feel cool when you're like, hey, I'm taking the L, and then you got to jump on the one, get off at 59th. I'm like, that Ah, uh, but it's running express. You yeah, know? it's oh, kind of a okay. fun thing yeah. to say. Oh, yeah. It's also... Because it, Chicago, it's like the brown. Yeah, yeah. you're on the red, brown, yeah. blue. That's and it. It. also, it doesn't really make that much of a difference with everywhere we went. You no. could be on any train. I never rode three of the six trains in Chicago. The green and pink, never. Rode. Never took I only rode two. You only rode brown the and red, red and brown the and red. Never purple. the blue even? Probably purple. Never but on the purple. You huh. never took the blue to O'Hare? No. Wow. Oh, this is riveting stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's keep, uh, let's keep like, quizzing each other on what trains. What about orange yeah. to Midway? <laughs> <laughs> and then I think about it and I go, no. <laughs> <laughs> Also, no. Nah. One time I almost did. Sick. Called an Uber, though. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. All right, we're done with guests. I remember that. <laughs> oh, I God. Do. Having guests sucks. That's right. Everything, we ignored all of the all of the DMs we got that said, don't have guests. Don't have guests. They said that? <laughs> yeah. People were saying that? Yeah, but they, they didn't know what type of quality they you could get. They didn't realize we were getting, <laughs> we, we were getting Dominican fuckers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I wish. I'd love to get sucked by a Dominican... <laughs> Boricua. Oh, nope, nope, don't do that. Oh. We Wait, what song that. is that? That's from uh, Still a Playa by Big Pun. Yeah, that's oh, exactly what go. it is. Yeah. I in a play, I just crush a lot. Yeah, yeah, so there yeah. There it is. One of my anthems in high school. <laughs> <laughs> I was crushing Code Red. God, <laughs> Pat Boyd me? still gets tremors when he hears that song. Oh, absolutely. The Asmus anthem. I bet he can't come without thinking about me. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm in that. Case. All right, so you don't have any you don't have any foods you try to go for on the road. Uh, I I try to go to I I ask everyone what the local spot is, and I always try to go to the big local spot. Okay. I went to this deli in Grand Rapids this weekend that was really good. Got a vegan sandwich with tofu and are you uh, portobello? Do you eat vegan? No, but I, if it's on the menu, I try to. I try to eat meat only like two or three days a week. There we go. I I don't eat too much meat. I never buy it at the grocery store, almost ever. My and gross. when you do, you put it in the microwave, forget about it, and leave it there for six to eight months. And then you oh, let your new roomies right. were asking yeah. me, they're like, "What's Jeff like?" I was like, "Oh, Jeff." Oh the yeah. Man. But you might find a piece of old fish under your bed that you yeah. don't even know how it got we there. We were oh. absolutely talking shit about you. I forgot about this till right <laughs> Wait, now. Wait, on the last episode? Uh, no, on uh, uh, on Wednesday in real life. Oh, in real life. <laughs> just, just some friends. Oh. To your new roommates. To your new roommates. John oh, Kennedy. you saw them. Oh, he right. came to Caroline's. We were at the after party, and he's like, "What's?" He's like, "He's like, I can't wait till." Jeff moves in, and we were like, oh, boy. Uh, I'm well, not you're going to regret bad. saying that, friend. I, I stopped cooking, basically. That's what I did. Because <laughs> I don't like doing dishes. That's why I don't cook, because I don't like doing dishes. So I don't cook anymore. It's no easy salmon eat. in the room? No salmon anymore. I don't buy... I only... I don't make my little plate of asparagus anymore. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite plate of asparagus. Uh, Jeff meal that we ever heard about from your old roommates was just 16 sausage links. Oh. Breakfast sausage links that you ate in one meal. Absolutely. I do that with the vegan ones now, actually. I'll eat eight <laughs> vegan ones, just a plate of them. They're so good. God, I love that that's the idea of you eating healthier. You're like, yeah, now I just eat 16 vegan Oh, sausages. yeah, they're not that <laughs> but good. But they're vegan. Them. What's the problem there? <laughs> they're not that good. They're, they're really delicious. good, though. They've figured out the fake meat. Are they salty <laughs> as hell? They're really good. They taste just like a Jimmy Dean. It's really good. <laughs> 
It's so beyond funny seeing, me. seeing how you are on a pod because you're you're like very much still in like James Webb studio mode because you keep pointing to the camera I love, <laughs> and like saying stuff into the camera and like we s- never ever look at the camera. God, s- no one watches this on YouTube. <laughs> I'm a slut <laughs> you for guys, America. It's on YouTube. If you I mean, why aren't you watching plug. on YouTube? Yeah. These pretty boys are on there. Come I know. On. Couple of tens. Oh, okay. Tens in Chicago. You're in New York now. Oh yeah. We're <laughs> couple of seven. You, you guys are better. I I need to work on stuff here. I'm back in the gym, dude. Yeah, you gotta. I gotta get in the gym. Oh, I that's gotta, an update. You're you're the, you're recently in the gym. Tim back. has been. Uh, we left it up to the to the voters to the followers. Yeah. Uh, whether or not Tim should sign up for therapy or the gym first. <laughs> <laughs> and they picked the gym. Uh, no, like, most people said therapy. They were like therapy, but I was like, I'm going gym. <laughs> <laughs> Which explains the therapy thing. Wow. <laughs> I'd rather look better than be mentally healthy. Absolutely, uh, absolutely. But we were saying the working out is does is, help your mental health. Does help the mental it does help it it's quite a bit. Yeah, it's, it's if, proven. If you're not working out and you're like, I'm sad, I'm just like, shut up. Yeah, it's like well, you're shut not trying. Up. You're not even trying. If right. you're working you out, horrible. eating healthy, getting yeah. sleep, not drinking, and I then drink you're depressed. every day and I'm right. sad. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, I drink wow. every day. I praise myself and don't sleep, and my mental health stinks. Yeah. So I'm trying Good the other you, things before Tim. the other one. I'm back and I'm on that row machine. I'm rowing so yeah. much. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna be jacked by the end of the year. I'm gonna be able to do 30 push-ups without even crying. <laughs> Dude, you have not broken eye contact with the camera. I know, I'm it's loving like crazy. it. He just, <laughs> I'm just fucking in love with the camera. And when he hits man. a punchline, he'll be like, he'll like kind of lean into the camera. The a little camera bit. gives your riffs 15 percent more. <laughs> oh Everyone knows God. that. <laughs> All right, so Jess, you, you moved up here a lot. You drove here. Did you drive I drove straight through? Here from, I drove here from Grand Rapids, Michigan. No, I stopped in Berwick, Pennsylvania. Boy, that Pennsylvania uh, stretch gets dark. It's I, it's beautiful, but dark. We've all made that drive in the last two months. It's not great. The natural well, beauty is, is some amazing. Of it, no, well, there's we a did it in the middle of the night, the so it's pitch black. Oh, and yeah, that's no was fun. Scary oh, yeah. as oh, I wouldn't fuck, do that. Honestly. No, no, no. That's, we were like teetering on empty gas. Oh, and you're and like, like an exit every 25 Well, there's signs miles. that just say like, hey, don't pull over here. <laughs> like, we yeah. don't, there's nothing here for you. Yeah, Keep it moving, shit. Yeah, it's never good sign like they have the signs that's like next gas yes 200 miles yeah yeah, yeah. that's when you know you're in no in the middle that's where the militias are that yeah, area yeah, for sure. the allegheny mountains or you yeah. see uh you see the exit and then there's just no like lights at the end of the road there's, there's, no there's, gas nothing, there's just the nothing there there's gas- one house 40 yards <laughs> oh, yeah. away. that's terrifying dude yeah those are where they just have high school football and then everyone dies. <laughs> they just but like even <laughs> the high school football after isn't they graduate, that good. Yeah. they're not even that. But after they graduate, oh, they're, they're like terrible. it's yeah. over. Well, because the also they were all built around like mines and yeah. shit. steel mills. Yeah. There's a town called Oil City. They're not. They don't oh, have oil man. there anymore. They really bet the farm. They on really that bet one. the yeah, farm like, on it in the 1860s. Yeah. <laughs> they were like, "This is gonna be this Oil play. City yeah. forever." <laughs> it was gonna turn into Manhattan. Could change it to Opioid City pretty easily. They got the <laughs> O already. Come on, go with it. There we go. Oh, yeah, I drank fun. at a bar last night with some bar locals in Berwick, Pennsylvania. Berwick, Pennsylvania. The crickets. Shout out to Cindy. <laughs> Great deep fried tacos. Wait, so is this just this is just where you stopped? I I stopped at a Red Roof Inn for okay. like forty five fifty bucks, and then I went oh. to this bar three miles down the street. And she, they were all like, "What do you do?" They thought I was a trucker, which felt kind of cool. <laughs> Yeah, you a trucker? Yeah. Why didn't you like, just lean in and create it. a character? Yeah, sure. I should have. I should have. Just be a trucker for they, the night. But they'd know the business. Be, uh, you oh, would have gotten sucked off be like, by a Dominican. Oh, oh there's no Dominican. <laughs> oh, there's no Dominican. Oh, there's no Dominican. Actually, there's actually a couple of spanky out there. fucking trailer. Oh, it was eight you, yeah. single men at the bar all kind of being silent and drinking. There was they no camaraderie. Thought, if you would have said, yes, I'm a trucker, it would have taken them three more sentences to know that you were yeah. not a yeah, trucker. Yeah, you yeah. You work for Orpheum? You work for Marrakesh? Which you one? Are, oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, we're yeah. having fun. I mostly do the Montreal to Toronto circuit. <laughs> yeah. I kind of play the I funny do, bones a lot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I deliver chicken wings to the Omaha funny bone. <laughs> you wouldn't know it. Man. Oh, man. And I was like, what's the food? And she's like, well, we're famous for our deep fried tacos. And she's like, boys, aren't we? And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah good oh, idea. And then I had just terrible diarrhea all night. Yeah, deep fried taco. Wait, That'll that do that it. That kind of sounds amazing. It was pretty what is good. A deep fried taco? It was just like a classic street taco, but she like deep fried the, oh, the, shell, the shell a little bit. And it was like kind of thick and crispy. It was, it was a hard pretty, shell taco. It, it was, was basically <laughs> a little bit different, but yeah, yeah. But for Pennsylvania, I was like, good for you. 
And that was, what were the other options? Just matzo sticks? I had and and Old Bay fries. They gave me fries and a cup of Old Bay seasoning (laughs) to dip them in. (laughs) They don't even season them. They don't even season it. I had to dip it in a thing of Old liking. Bay. <laughs> hey, you did send a photo of that frosty mug. A frosty Yingling. Looked pretty good. Dollar twenty-five. What? Dollar. I got a uh, taco, fries, and three Yinglings for eleven dollars. Wait, how <laughs> far away from here is this place? <laughs> it's only two and a half hours. Actually, it's not We're that far. We're going. Fun. Let's I take a road trip. It wouldn't be a bad place. I would love to do a show there. Let's go do a one nighter there. They, that would the, kind of be. It's like amazing. a town of like twelve thousand people. You could you could do a, sh- a show there. Not at this bar, but there would probably be another one. Absolutely. Buddy. I'd love to do an iron circuit. <laughs> 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 a little steel curtain circuit of the broken an rust belt. An iron circuit where we have we do we do all of the rust belt. Yeah, we do all the rust belt. Tim pe- works out in every hotel gym. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just does the it have iron, a row machine? The and iron a dollar twenty five <laughs> beers? Yeah, we, we'll do it. We start in the town with the highest unemployment rate <laughs> and go to the lowest. <laughs> I mean this I think I, I look at the demographics twenty percent unemployment. Pretty that's pretty rough. Tough. Tough. You but think all nine of those I was the were? hottest man there. You think so? Oh yeah. Well, you I'm were you were the only one looking. under 280 pounds. I was the only one under 280. The only one with all his teeth. The yeah. only one with no the stains sh- on the clothes. Probably no. Some stains I, even with a couple, <laughs> even with a couple stains, my shirt was the right size. And yeah, I stood yeah, out. yeah, yeah, yeah. They were, they like, were kind of nudging each other like, "It's gonna end up." Look at this gay shirt. bitch. <laughs> look at this liberal ass. Hey, if you would have said you were a trucker, they'd have probably beat the they shit. They would have beat the you. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. There would have been one of those mugs shattered. They would have been like, for "Let's sure. go, Brandon." Yeah. <laughs> did you say you were a comedian or a no? Comedian? No, I didn't say what just I did. Passing no, through. it just passing through. Yeah, not gonna say I'm a comedian. No, that would you want them liberal comedians? <laughs> you ever make fun of trans people? <laughs> That's what we actually like. yes all the time. Yeah. Never, I'm an ally. All of June. <laughs> All of June. All of June. I'm an ally. Come July, he's got a hot 10. Come July, back. though. Straight month. <laughs> oh, my God. You guys, he's kidding. I'm kidding. We're just having a little fun. That's jokes. Hey, that Dominican he got sucked off by was a man. That, was and a that man. would be cool, too. That was allyship. Never made love to a Dominican. Would love to. <laughs> One of the top five people. Let's list the beautiful races. No, we shouldn't do that. We can. We shouldn't do that. No, let, let, them, let them off. Okay. Do we I feel I, like you ha- already have them. I don't have an order. <laughs> I don't know an order. Persians up there. <laughs> Persians well, actually, up there. Well, actually, give us give us the order. Give I, us I don't know five. if I can do the order. Top right, five in top order. Top Persian. Five. So Persian's definitely number one. Yeah. Pakistani. <laughs> Pakistani. Uh... Palestinian. What is your girlfriend, by the way? <laughs> she is Indiana. <laughs> She's not Indianan. top three. She is Indianan. <laughs> I you're I'm, I'm, Indian. I'm talking like, no, countries, not. not the U.S. type of race. You okay. know, I'm talking countries. Ukraine, beautiful people, and I hope there's a few of you left. Why have you years. turned this into a PR situation? <laughs> It always is. <laughs> when you get a camera, you got to turn it into a tirade. <laughs> also, <laughs> I, t- I, didn't, I didn't see this coming, but as you were naming them, I realized we can't. I can't really share. I can't be like, nah. Yeah, I'm yeah, you can't yeah. really <laughs> give any feedback. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm like, right. no, ah. actually, they got weird noses. At the same yeah. time, yeah, it's no. also weird if I'm like, oh, yeah. Totally. <laughs> Pakistan. I'm just kind of like leaning out of the frame yeah, right too. now. <laughs> just letting it zoom <laughs> in right on Jack. Uh, we were both kind of like, <laughs> yeah, oh, I realized now this was a bad idea. I was like, mm, I'm just going to let Tom say <laughs> something here. I'm not saying shit. Yeah, I'm not going to finish the list. There was only two left. Okay, finish it off. Uh, no, we get to four. Four, I'd say uh, Italian. They're uh, they're beautiful. Bra- Brazilian didn't crack. Ooh, Brazilian's not in there. No okay, sort of Spaniard is in there. Brazilian. Spaniard in general. Brazilian. Yeah. Brazilian Portuguese. Yeah. Oh, oh, come Portuguese on. is Ruin up there life. too. But the the Ukraines are going through a tough spot, and I got you. We got you. Yeah, I feel like that We're one, for, that one solve, might have been a right off, When Kiev falls, though, honest. go Russia. <laughs> 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 I'm nothing but a fair weather fan. Well, I think we have a similar dilemma as you. We have what? some Russian listeners. We have zero Ukrainian You're, listeners. They can't even get a little, like, secret radio and listen. I mean, if, if Russians are going to listen, I'm going to placate them. We have them. Russian wow. listeners. You do. There we go. God I don't know why. Doing the Lord's work. Yeah. <laughs> They're in a bunker outside of Odessa, like, oh, you roommates in law. <laughs> <laughs> they said there's new sketches coming yeah. out soon. <laughs> <laughs> they got four in the tank right now. Tommy <laughs> likes farting. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear the Caroline show went pretty well? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's.
that's uh, the, you guys motivate them to kill those neo Nazis <laughs> oh in Ukraine. <laughs> Isn't it turning? Aren't the Russians kind of crushing them like recently? Not, yeah, Ukraine is not. Dude, it's not they're looking losing good. soldiers at a rate faster than we did in the Vietnam War. Really? Oh yeah. man, you want to take so, back the riffs? Sorry from to the throw lab. that fun stat out there. I Boy, would we like to apologize for ago. my riffs. Yeah, not mm-hmm. really. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so anyway, <laughs> you have any more uh, food ideas? Back to your uh, road food, food choices, Jeff. Okay, wait, here's, uh, what are you di- least excited about to be back in New York? Jeff was in New York for a couple years. He was the king. How long, two years? Two, about a little less than two years, yeah. A little, uh, two years, he came back. He had to, you know, Chicago was getting out of order. Chicago So you had to come back. You had to Rest- restore oh faith my. in yes. comedy, restore I had to, order. I had to come back so people could steal more of my jokes from me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know, Chicago, what you've been doing. A lot of people stealing my shit. A lot of people names. doing Asmus out there. Lot of Certainly peep. never me. I've never taken not, anything from you. Tommy hasn't. Yeah, I have, for not, sure. No, not <laughs> the same way. Some people are pretty egregious, and they'll be named in the Patreon. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's uh, <laughs> patreon.com backslash love and life. Love and life. Love and life. It's not actually oh. <laughs> a real Patreon. But once again, if you have ever gone to that website, Venmo us $5. What yes. does it go to? Nothing. Oh, just we made pockets. it up because one time it was one of Tim's all-time worst <laughs> sentences I've ever ever heard him what did say. He say. We oh. can retell this story. It's it was hilarious. An unbelievable. It was actually weird the night situation. of your headlining debut. Yeah, at this was after. Oh, oh wow. After the sweet, after sweet one of the Zanies worst one of the shows, worst shows I've of ever done. <laughs> We're uh, we're at Old Town Alice. We're hanging out with Amy Miller slash Laura Peak, having right, a great time. Right. This guy comes up, out of his mind, hammered, just kind of out of nowhere, talking to us, and he's like, uh, "So, uh, yeah, my uh, dad's a murderer." <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! And I'm like, "Huh?" And he's like, "Yeah, I just found out like my dad like killed some people." <laughs> like, he's like, "I'm just like trying to come to grips with it." And no. He, so what are you guys doing? Wait, didn't he say his dad got murdered? No, I thought he said his dad was a murderer. No, These are but very because different. he was a murderer. Oh, oh his dad uh, got murdered. His dad got mur- oh His dad God. killed someone, went to jail, got out of jail, got killed. Got oh, murdered. my because, God. Because that's how he led off with my dad got murdered. Wow. And then Tim was like, oh, shit. Uh, and he's like, yeah, but he was also a murderer. I was so. like, <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm a murderer in Old Town <laughs> at Zany's. Talking about the ladies, Sorry. folks. Sorry. And he, uh, Je- he's but like. But also that night, uh, Jeff went on stage with his fly down. I did go on stage with my fly down, and the 25 out of the 60 audience members heckled me. Well, they they were the changing craziest. shame at one point. They did after trans- you had a riff about blowing Nancy Pelosi's brains. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's because they were too cowardly to say it themselves. They were shame. I, would, I stand by that riff. Put a desert eagle to Nancy's forehead. <laughs> Let's change the country. <laughs> Let's take back America. <laughs> Stop the steal. Where we it go really when we go. It really is off. not that thin of a line between you and January 6th. Yeah. Oh, I would have been there if they had a little better reason to be there. <laughs> <laughs> like the complete It was opposite. just a little too wishy-washy. Yeah. Oh, I'll be there next time. For uh, sure. Okay. Wait, so what so the fuck were we talking Okay, so this the guy, guy So this guy, the, he tells, he tells us that murdered. his dad got murdered. Because he's, he's a, murderer. a murderer. Jesus Christ. And he just goes... Uh, so what are you uh, doing in Chicago? <laughs> and I was just like fucking just stunned by what he did. I was like, uh, just start a comedy, moved here, just loving life. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, he, no, it was, it was uh, moved here, Do doing comedy. <laughs> Love and life. <laughs> <laughs> and it and was I just at that back. moment, all of us, the conversation had died oh, on our stopped. side. Oh, and Tim no. was talking to this guy on the side. We weren't oh. paying attention. But for some reason at that moment, me, Laura, Amy, and so there was a couple other people at the table, all had kind of dialed into <laughs> Tim. Oh. And all we heard him say was, moved here, doing comedy, love and life. Oh, my God. <laughs> and I, like, turned back, and Amy Miller goes, what just came out of your mouth? <laughs> Tim's like, you're like the least optimistic person ever. Yeah. I could never imagine you saying that I was and like, believing it. What a it. fucking weird limp what did, dick thing to say. What did the guy say? I don't even. He was all, off my radar because right when that came out, all I could think, I was like, I'm about to get roasted so oh, hard yeah, yeah, yeah. by all of these people. So I just turned back and just took the beating. It was about an hour. For a while. Did he leave? Did the guy I don't know. I don't, away? Know. He yeah. must I don't know what happened to that guy. Day. I mean, I would give the murderer's son a time of day because it's in the genes. That's true. I, don't I, know could, what I was that way more worried about do. the that's Limpid so funny. comedians <laughs> about to roast me. <laughs> <laughs> and boy, did I take, take it on the yeah, fucking chin all good. night long. That's good. 
Can't so, do that in New York. No. No. If you can't. say love and life in New York, no, they'll, kill they'll invite dead. you on a podcast. <laughs> no, they love that. They <laughs> love <me> that. <laughs> Wait, what were we... How did we get on this tangent? We were asking you something about... about food. Least excited no. for in New York. Oh, what yes. am I least, what are you least excited, excited for? for? Oh, I'm least excited for having to look at all those poor suckers who I bury every day. I'm go. least excited. Right. Well, you guys, this was roommates a lot. You guys are awesome. Uh, I'm least excited. To, no, what's a real one? The The train home at night is very sad. Dude. Like a 2 a.m. train where it's delayed and it takes an hour and a half to get home. That's a very sad. If you, if it's after, after a hot set, if it's though. after a bad show, going yeah. home late at night after a bad show or a show you did badly at is a... That's a very sad time. Buddy, you told me that two years ago. I did. In Minnesota, when we were driving to Minnesota, and that has stuck with me, and it hit. It, it, it is, is true. If you have a, you do a bar show in Manhattan for three Belgian tourists, and were then, you, you, <laughs> then you take a two-and-a-half-hour end train home because it's stopped under a tunnel for an hour. Oh, and it's man. not only one train. Like... It's like you have to still coordinate the trains home. You yeah, you really still keep trying because you you for some reason took a gig in a, at a bar in uh, fucking the financial district. So yeah. you're in South Manhattan, then you're going north to the L. You're taking and you it's can't like, take an Uber. And the There's, whole time you're like, that was for six minutes where I got paid. Nothing. And I lost and, money because I bought a drink. Yeah, yeah. But you have and you can't take an Uber because it's ninety five dollars. So you have to figure it out. I've had a couple of dark moments with me and the young man here taking the drinks. Tom's in Williamsburg. I'm right. in the Schwick. The and sh- for a is while, that what we call it? The Schwick? Schwick dude. Wow, I haven't wow. heard that one yet. And Dang. Uh, I don't think the Bariquas will like that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and Tom, Tom for, for a while, the L was just shut down right after Tom's uh, stop. Oh, so yeah. So Tom got to just be like, <laughs> Later, dude. Oh, you had to take a bus? And I had to get on a bus <laughs> oh, yeah, and yeah. sit next to a man having a full mental breakdown, staring at me in the middle of a schizophrenic break, and I'm just uh-huh. picturing Tom just comfy, cozy in his bed. At home, having a gym tonic. I'm fighting for my life. Yeah. Yeah. A cold tonight. <laughs> yeah. Oh, a shuttle bus is a nightmare. That's oh, it was a the nightmare. worst. Yeah. We had to get off the train. You know, like those Japanese videos where they're like, the government officials are like shoving them onto the public transit. Oh yeah, that's yeah. how it felt. Like I had to like elbow an old lady to get uh, on this bus. At two in the morning. Yeah, it's packed at two in the morning. It yeah, was those insane. Are, those and then this bad. guy was losing his fucking mind right next oh. to me. So I got off two stops early and just hoofed it. Yeah. <laughs> God. And then oh yeah. I was like New York. This is yeah. Where it's that's at. that's the worst part of New York. But a, a bodega late night's fun. That's not bad. Love a bag of chips at two in the morning, <laughs> dude. I, I have love... I have bought chips at so many bodegas. I get a bag of chips every night in New York. What's that's your chip? Oh, the wa- the Utz's, I mean. The Utz's barbecue or spicy hot. I go spicy hot. The spicy. Oh, no. Oh, those are good, too. I get the red hot all the time. Okay. So good. Oh, I just devour it. It's disgusting. Potato yeah. chips are the best food. And mm. I don't think that contributes to the sad ride home. I don't think it makes you happier. No, because then you're thirsty the whole time. And you feel kind of bad. You and have like, like a little stomach ache. Yeah. Oh, I've always you're like, am, I didn't need those chips. I didn't need those. And I'm always on the verge of diarrhea anyway, <laughs> so th- that never helps. <laughs> I'm always about to diarrhea. How often are you pooping? Uh, I'm, I'm diarrheaing two times a day and a big poop once a day. You're Whoa, diarrheaing wait. two times a day. Also, well, you're switching I, off between solid and diarrhea in well, one day. Well, because the, the anxiety yeah. of doing a show gives me diarrhea every day. Oh, yeah, uh, you're see, a pre-show I, I poop, poop guy. every show. If I have three sets, I poop three times. And he I'm poops the at the I'm venue. A, I'm I poop a, I'm at a the venue. show pee guy. And throw up sometimes. Really? Well, that's when I'm brutally hungover. <laughs> oh, you, I've only I, done that twice in seven years. But wow. you did it like twice in, in a pretty, pretty short time. In Chicago? Yeah. I was... Driving out to a gig in what was it, Battle Creek, Michigan? Oh, yeah. And I'm sitting on the toilet, poop like just diarrheaing, and then had to pull the trash can over so I could oh, puke in the trash can. Oh, in the venue? <laughs> he's had no, this was on the way. Oh, and my And then it was still, like God. an hour out. Oh, my. All alone? Or are you with someone? Oh, I had Pat Bulldog and Colin Unger. Wow. Sound asleep in the back seat. It was <laughs> Brutes my goods. Oh, God. Really fun show, though. Shout yeah, out I Battle heard Creek, hand Michigan. map, hand map. Yeah, burning, it was I very believe. fun. Yeah. Gave me a T-shirt and everything. Wait, have I told the Higgy poop story on this? Yeah. Pod? Oh, Damn I've it. heard that uh, story. That's, that's a great a, story. Still the hardest I've ever laughed in my still whole life. Still just amazing. Just that's him funny. get, just someone busting in the door and me being in the stall next to him and then hearing him just go, ah, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, the best part then, is after. He yeah. left. The guy leave. He just screamed something. The guy was like, oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Lee's door shuts. Guy walks out and it's just a huge deep breath and Higgins just goes. 
<laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best part. I getting was crying. Oh, I just love like him recalibrating and like kind of replaying what just happened in his head. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. You're never more vulnerable than someone walks in on you shitting. Jacking off, having sex, not nearly as embarrassing. Oh, yeah, because shitting, you can't. Your pants are down, your ankles, poops coming out of your anus. You can't, you got no defense. <laughs> you can't b- bounce back quick. You can't either. bounce. Having sex is pretty cool as long as they're hot. And, uh. <laughs> well, any other situation, you can, like, if you can stop jerking off and defend yourself, you right. can stop having sex. You can't you stop, get to pooping. stop taking a shit. No. You might be pooping while defending yourself. Yeah, yeah. that's not great. <laughs> it's not a It's not your it's favorite a, situation. I guess the most intimidating look. <laughs> I guess you turn around and poop at them. Yeah. If you really want it. If you got you're diarrhea. Not projectile pooping. I to fuck this you, dude up, but he had a huge your, turd I, coming out. I piss out my butthole all the time. <laughs> you never do that? So. I sharded myself the to other To the 12 day. of you that are still <laughs> Better than I'm still you stuck through. You never sharded yourself? Oh, I've sharded. I did Absolutely it a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Oh, not a, recently. On a butt waiting for a bus in Chicago. Have you, well, you, what was the situation? You, you were trying to blast a fart I out? thought it was a fart, and it just gushed out some hot poop, and it ruined my khakis. <laughs> it was that much poo? It was a lot. It was more than did I Did you still liked. get on the train, or did you Uber and just go home? I had to get on the train. I mean, I wasn't the worst smell on the train. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of you're among friends. They kind of accept you. They're like, oh, hey, yeah, it's have like a look. the Jeep wave. They yeah. kind of give you a it's nod. It's actually like hey, the best way to not mo- get hey, fucked with on the sh- train, too. Yeah, there's shit in your pants. They share sure. their malt liquor with you. Like, he's, he's one of us. <laughs> Take some Colt 45. It was like a thimble full of poop. <laughs> That's so much. That's Did a lot of change? poop. Did you change? Did you throw the underwear? I threw out the somewhere? pants and the underwear into our compost bin. They're what's composting up? right now. <laughs> well, what, Trying what's to save some money. Return. And to dust, you shall <laughs> return. You shall return. <laughs> what's your undies situation? Are they at least like boxer briefs where it stayed in? Oh, or were they course. boxers and they just kind of drooled down your leg? No one wears boxers anymore, do they? Isn't that kind of. I would imagine some That's people like, do. That's like a libtard thing, isn't it? But it, so it stayed in. <laughs> it was pretty contained. Oh yeah, it was okay, contained. That's yeah. good. Oh, it was hot. Oh, it wasn't a runner. It was hot against my gooch. <laughs> yeah. I absolutely hate God. this. Little friction, it evaporated a little bit. You know. <laughs> God damn it. We yeah. chafed. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. That's that's yeah. just rubbing them. Yeah. yeah. Looking back, I, I regret bringing Wait, this up. Wait, you used to be a cross country runner. Did yeah. you ever shit yourself? I in a long run? did once. That's pretty common, though, right? Yeah, it wasn't. I was, like I was low. Septic. I was yeah. low among the the quota. Yeah. <laughs> Were you a little self conscious about it? Everyone's was like, like, "Dude, I shit myself three times yeah. this week." You're Maybe like, if yeah. you ran harder, <laughs> Osmus. Same, yeah. Well, me and my friends would also take a break and go eat pizza halfway through our run every day at practice. So you were pretty so competitive. That Did you was not good. Pat Boyd? <laughs> that what? Did you invite Pat? No, he couldn't run. He was a little. He was in shape. <laughs> he was a not a cross country runner. Uh, I'm not too say, busy not. He was a hockey team. He was a big oh, God. He was too busy filling say. water bottles. Up. <laughs> we Pat, love Pat you Boy. Fucking loser, dude. I'd love to fight you, Pat. Boy. I also love. Uh, can we just point out? This is this is amazing. Uh, t- Tim's lovely fiance Lizzie and and your roommate Coco just walked out here. During the shit part of the podcast, I just want them to know the shit part. They've been hit the whole time. I, was, <laughs> <laughs> I want on. them to know we discussed global politics too. We were earlier, and we were, were discussing very highbrow things. We were. Yeah, they, we'll go back. They to walked them. out the moment Jeff said he shit his pants. He sharted, and, like, and they were like, it. "Let's go check." Them. Oh, women poop too. And no, we encourage but it's like that when you're trying to convince them that you're trying to do something real. Yeah, no. Yeah, but, but I this mean, is a really good podcast that we. Oh, no, people love poop. Yeah. This is a th- unfortunately. This true. is actually the first episode of our uh, new podcast. It's called um, it's called Three in the Bush. <laughs> <laughs> Three in the bush, one in the tush. <laughs> That's my new sex move. Wait, I'm Jeff, you had on. a good riff earlier. What was it? Between two turds. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. This, you this, you, if you don't watch on YouTube, you don't know. But I'm seated in the middle between two turds. <laughs> Zach Galifin, fuck ass. <laughs> <laughs> and there's no other host. Tommy doesn't get it. Yeah, I just don't. And, and Tommy, Tommy Wee, Schneeman. man. And Tommy oh, Schneeman. There we go. Tommy Schneeman. Uh, no, the only time anyone's ever tried to. There was one guy who really tried to make Tommy Seaman stick. Oh, that's I fun. could definitely In see that grade. happening. It didn't stick. Yeah. Now nah, he wasn't grade? cool enough. He I didn't carry say, enough clout. If it was anyone with some clout, that's, that's a good nickname. That's there forever. Yeah, Ricky something. Did you know what semen was Rick in fifth Anderson. grade? No, but you knew I it was a no bad idea. word. You, know, or you knew it was a, not even yeah. a bad word. Yeah, you knew yeah. it was like a sex thing. Yeah. Oh, I didn't. I didn't. 
I didn't. I didn't see semen until I was in college. Well, you don't have to well, see I it to yeah, know what it is. I don't know if I. Well, I never it. watched porn or I didn't want. Wait, know. so you didn't come until you were in college? I had like a wet dream or two, but I didn't really look at it or understand what I've it was. I've never had a wet dream. Really? Never. I in college yeah. I had a lot. Same. I don't know. I was just saying I had a I had a really late riff on one of the earlier things we were Come just on, talking do about. It. Let it out. Don't let it out. I was I was gonna be like, well, yeah. I mean, I know what bad com- I knew what bad comedy was before I saw your act. Oh, <laughs> oh, see, there we go. But I was right as I was starting to say okay. it, you, you started sharing something. I was like, that might be something. No, that was worth it. There we yeah, go. That was, that was big worth riff. It for sure. Big wow. riff from Tom. I was talking about Jeff's act, by the way, not Tim's. For those of you guys not watching. <laughs> yeah, fuck Jeff. Tim is great. Jeff sucks. That's ass. true. That's true. <laughs> people are saying it. I'm only good on Staten Island. No, it Island. is annoying how many people that when I say I came here from Chicago, the amount of people that ask me about you makes me really want to wow. You, oh, you know Jeff? I'm like, yeah. yeah. He's a close friend of mine. Yeah, okay, I know Jeff. <laughs> probably a lot of women. They're probably. No, it actually has not been one. Yeah, woman. women no. don't it's like. It's always my like comedy. the weirdest open mic. Yeah, the world. Yes, it's some too. autistic guy is like, you ever hear about Jeff? <laughs> He just, I love I, how he just says whatever. I was like, yeah, Jeff inspired you to do that k- Ten Commandments bit, didn't he? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. He I really went through all ten of them. Takes it to huh? the Jews. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes I, the people who come up to me after shows, I'm like, really, this is what we've cultivated. God damn it, this yeah. is what we've done. Hard work. Audience, people who are hotter than me, I don't want my fans to be hotter than me. I want to be ugly. Well, um, <laughs> well, you're doing. I mean, I'm there's kidding, plenty of people out there for you, yeah. Jeff. Yeah. It's cool to be a big fish in a little pond. Dude. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Here, no one in New York's gonna like me. This is, what if we all move back in shame in a year? Just, I'm, I'm back there next month. I'm back. Oh in yeah, you're next gone month, in a month. I'm yeah. for good. Same. In Chicago I'll move, forever. Yeah, I I'll might move just, back to Louisiana before I go back to Chicago. I might just move back to Chicago just to be just to get the out of town bookings for the rest wow, of my life. Wow, not bad. I'm just gonna move back and only book shows like once a month and just say I'm Yeah, I'm just back. I'm just oh, back. Yeah. Now. yeah. Well, I had I, mean, to, I had to go back under unfortunate circumstances. I went back because of a death in the family. Right. That but doesn't then, count. Then I went through Chicago for three days. I got I mean that's the most stage time I've ever got my life. Like, I've been shows. gone for 45 minutes, and everyone's like, do you want to do my show? Oh, yeah. It's incredible how that happens. I'm like, I didn't get better. It makes no <laughs> sense. I'm doing the same jokes. Gone. Yeah. Well, no, I have some new. You have some new. Can you not? <laughs> you have some new. <laughs> You're dead. Tommy <laughs> has some new. No, he has hey, some new. Hey, I got hey, new, dude. Yeah, I just yeah, want to strike new. that from the record. Fucking new. Jesus Christ. You guys got new? I got a new I got a new act out bit where I'm crying. Oh, on stage. I saw that. It's funny. Kind of a good one. It's got a good some one. New. It's a great Louis C.K. joke. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> you want to talk about this right now? You want to get into this, Dave? <laughs> Dave? Oh, I tell. Oh, that joke's uh, been dead for years. Go. It's got, not the same joke. I got a new one about lighting myself on fire, free base, and crack. I don't know if that'll hit or not. It, it'll hit in Berwick, Pennsylvania. That's yeah. a Richard Pryor reference. Did no one get it? Oh, oh no. no. Yeah, I'm actually oh, ashamed to say my. I didn't Jeff, get that. Jeff, you're a weird enough person that you could have a joke with that premise. That's like his most famous bit, though. Uh, yeah. Damn. Yeah. Wow. Live on Sunset. Live on Sunset. Damn. Trip. It's a like, bummer that me and Tim didn't get it because all the people that listen to it definitely got Certainly it. I bet they did. I bet the <laughs> listeners, if you got hey, that, if you let understood them know. That, send Text Jeff, us if you uh, got message. it. That's Jeffrey ATM. Jeffrey asked to mouth on Instagram. Is that what this is? That what it is? Jeffrey asked to mouth. I thought it was at the moment. <laughs> oh, that's what the prudes want you to think. It's is Jeffrey it really? That's the clean version. Mouth. That's the late yeah. night version. <laughs> I think it's so funny. <laughs> what? <laughs> Jeffrey asked to mouth. How did that start? Because uh, that was my nickname in college. <laughs> Jeffrey asked him out. I'm serious. Because uh, Osmus asked him out. I guess. Yeah, it rhymes That's perfectly. Jeffrey, yeah, <laughs> it, it is definitely a stretch for Tommy sure. Tommy Seaman is infinitely better than that. It's yeah. way closer. I mean, it's better than chemo kid in high school. So Was that you, That was you, too? Yeah, because I was so skinny and pale. They called me chemo kid. That's not okay, even so very So now creative. I'm starting to forgive a little of the bullying that you... Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, that you yeah. were putting out yeah. into the world. Yeah. You, you were catching a little bit. bullying everyone. How was Pat Boyd bullying? Low chemo kid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Holy Lord. I recovered. Heaven. I recovered. I beat it. I beat the rap. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like, "Holy shit!" You're like, damn, chemo kid's back. really giving it to boy. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he, he's fucking back, baby. <laughs> oh my god, you're Just a survivor, having dude. Having a little bit of fun here, people. Oh boy. All right. Wait. What did I? 
Do you have one? No, more? I forgot. I meant to ask you this beforehand, but we do a zero of the week every week. Zero of the week, like it personally or in the world, like or a, a person anyone. you encountered that in the you've world, encountered or heard of or saw. But something, this is tough. And to you just saw it and you're like, ugh, you stink. Any time in the last year, you've really despised. I think someone. we all know who the zero of the week is. Joe Robinette Biden. <laughs> <laughs> stared, hey, quit. Stared right into the camera hey, when he said that. Quit <laughs> jacking up my gas prices, Joe. Oh my I know God. you're up there. I know you're doing it. <laughs> I know you're up there. I know it you're moving like your that dial. You're just bit. moving that little press dial up, up, up. That's the uh, funniest shit. That's what just, happened I've seen with so like many the... tweets of people being like, I don't know how many times I have to say this. The president does not set the gas prices. It's so he funny. Do shit. Well, even when he like authorized the release of all the oil, like that didn't really impact prices. It doesn't do right? anything because it was nothing. It was like a drop in the bucket. It was like a couple swimming pools. Which like with <laughs> how much it actually was that we released, it's kind of... What's well, insane how much oil we use? Yeah, right. Yeah. It, it's kind of like it makes the it, uh, like the whole sustainable energy thing. I'm like, oh, we're kind of yeah, fucked. Yeah. Up. yeah. <laughs> well, it's like when you hear like Elon Musk donated a hundred thousand dollars to his favorite cause, and everybody's like, oh, holy oh shit, man! It's like if I cut a penny grand. in half. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like maybe we shouldn't have built our entire society around one. Not inexhaustible resource. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have, See, where are the ladies on this? Hey, we're back on politics. Hey, we're anyway, talking guys, about <laughs> geopolitics. We're really figuring something out out oh, here. They could never understand oil. <laughs> what do we Is think? Is that what's do in we, my makeup? They do could we, <laughs> never. They could never. A weird misogynistic turn from <laughs> Jeff at the end of the pod. Oh, I've gone I mean, for no else, real reason. We saw yeah. it coming. I haven't gone at women yet. <laughs> I had to. <laughs> oh, my God. You didn't go at women until you were 27. Oh, <laughs> Oh, come on. Late 26. Jeff I was a virgin until he was 27. Virgin until I was 26, and I'll be getting a lot of fat puss in heaven for that. <laughs> That's my That's reward. That's not how it works. That's my reward. You're the longer you married. last. I lasted longer than most priests do. <laughs> and ironically, you don't last long now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> From 33 I, feet. I got a new reason why I come quick. I come quick because they couldn't handle any more of that dick. <laughs> uh, no, your first one was better. I'm yeah. doing it to protect that. No, Have you the, tried that line on stage joke. yet? Do no, the original I, think joke. I did. It I killed. It do killed. the line once. No, dude. I don't want to do, do, do it. Do the line once just because our listeners won't believe hey, in you. Hey, ladies, <laughs> you know why I come quick? Because I want to get back to talking about your day. <laughs> it's more fun when you do it like, when you do it like. Because I want to get back yeah, to talking about yeah, your it's day. Funny. Yeah, it's funnier. Anyone that Anyone else it's come funny. quick out there? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying not to do that joke anymore. I don't want to be the come quick guy. Well, well wait, late. was that the too one? Late. No, that was a, I that's thought, the title of this episode. Yeah, <laughs> the come, come quick, quick guy. guy. The come quick the come guy. Quick We're not even going to say your name. The yeah. Premature ejaculate. <laughs> also, I would consider People are just going to see that title, the come quick guy. I'm like, oh, they got Jeff on the podcast. You don't have to put it. <laughs> Let's <laughs> check <laughs> that uh, Instagram handle availability also. The Maybe we can change the ass to mouth to oh, the come quick guy. The, I would be the come quick guy. That's not bad. That's not bad. You'd finally get a, a couple pops on I reels. get a... Oh, real Boy, Tommy, that was uncalled for. <laughs> oh, Tommy no, Tommy decided he's right. to cut deep he's for no right. reason. Oh, no, Jeff and I text about this oh, every I, day. I'm, I'm thinking about the reels all day, every day. It's broken our... It's broken my mind. Someone a posted bit. another video of mine... They post a video. It did got a million views, but when I posted it, got four thousand. It's, it's just it's, random. It's Jeff and I would random. meet up at Tunes to oh, try to write jokes, God. and right when he would sit down, he would just mention some comment. Do you say they got five hundred thousand views? <laughs> Always. For, he was in the Always. chair for a half a second. It's Always. not healthy. See such and such just hit ten k. It's not. It's. <laughs> it's I'm not getting help. better, but it is not healthy. I'll say that I threw. I threw a cheap shout out there. You are putting out the best jokes. It ain't people, about the, uh, the algorithms. Irrelevant. Are, it's it doesn't matter. It's. it's I insane. truly think the more laughs you get in the clip hurts you, because then they have to wait longer between punchlines. I actually Whoa. think less laughs does better because then the clip's shorter. Maybe you we will should see start a clip recording. of someone like kind of objectively bombing, and it yeah. gets a million and it has views. Five point six million. Views. Yeah, it makes. No and those sense. are the ones where they just say something like slightly, not even problematic, but like argumentative. Yeah. And then it's all the arguing in the comments. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I. Pepsi's actually better. No, I like yeah. Coke, and it's yeah. all these morons. But I think girls should wear two pieces. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. People are like, hey, fuck you if you like two pieces. <laughs> yeah. Tags all their friends. Yeah. It's incredible. Bone-in wings are for <laughs> bitches. <laughs> I'm a drum guy. Yeah. <laughs> Flats um. for Biden. <laughs> People love to argue about the dumbest <laughs> shit you've ever seen. I love it when they take something that has nothing to do with politics at all. And they're like, you know what's interesting about a drumstick? 
Yeah. Is that and then they just turn it yeah. into like a the left Syrian side conflict. always takes yeah. more. Like, Whoa, <laughs> how did this get to this? Oh, I posted a political joke on TikTok recently. I've been getting torn apart. I had to block like a hundred people for Which threatening joke was bo- it? a joke about the Civil War, like the up saying we're gonna have a civil war, and all these right wingers like he'll beat, we'll kill him in a first minute. Oh, Jesus. I had like a, oh, literally a hundred posted some of them. A hundred people like threatened violence against one me. guy I was like, I can't wait to snap your neck. Those or, were like, the tame like ones. Those yeah. were the tame ones. So everyone's like, I got a gun and a bullet for him <laughs> and shit like that. I was like, Jesus. I was like, oh, I'm not posting politics anymore. And you've had you've had TikToks taken down for saying you have a shriveled dick. Yeah, and this one is not taken down. And also the jokes on the right winger's side too. It's so fucking stupid. I'm not right wing you might have gotten that impression from this podcast <laughs> i'm a liberal not a libtard okay there's he's a difference a, what do we say he's, he's a little bit of a liberal all lives matter kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> no no i don't want that rep yep. you're right down the middle dude dominicans no one <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> Domin- holding up this. A and book and Dominicans. <laughs> Incredible. All right, Jeff, where, where are you at coming up? You're where a big am New I York co- City when's this guy coming now? out? When's this well, we this? don't actually know. It might be in like July. Oh, you yeah, know so what? Never well, mind. Well, actually, July 6th through 9th, Acme Comedy Club, oh, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Minnesota. Oh, we got some Minnesota. Headlining we gotta... for the first time. It's going to be fun. Oh, dude. I'm excited. You're headlining? Headlining. Got hey. it. By the grace of God. The, the big 4th of July weekend, they gave it to the king of Minnesota. <laughs> you guys are going to want to get there for like the last 15. Yeah, you're gonna, that's when For I really sure. start hitting. Yeah. Yeah. Once I exhaust my local riffs in my <laughs> weekly tirade. Boy, Woodbury's going to get yeah. it. Oh, I'm really going after the suburbs. <laughs> Applebee's, you done. <laughs> Olive Garden won't be in my family. I forgot their slogan. Uh, God damn it. We're all when you're here, you're family. Damn it. Uh, <laughs> we're all in your family. <laughs> I'll be all Olive. up in that family. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, All right. Well, we fuck. don't know when this one's coming out. Uh, but. but where can we follow you? Well, You're gonna, Jeffrey ATM on yeah, Instagram. Mm-hmm. I don't like the other social medias. Just do Instagram. Do Instagram. Twitter stinks. Uh, also, listen to his podcast, but You're not an idiot. If, not at the cost of listening to our podcast. They've both yeah. been on the podcast before, Tommy True. and Tim. It's called You're an Idiot. You're an Idiot. Good pod. It's good, a very good fun podcast. pod. Once again, Buy I just want to stress, if you're only going to listen to one podcast in a week, though... Hours. I would listen hours. to you, Roommates in Law. But yeah. if you have room for two, You're an Idiot is great. It's a great pod. Fun pod. Buy some of their merch. It's very funny. Yeah. We got some because good stuff. Because we all are idiots. At We're the end all of the day. poor. <laughs> <laughs> I think Tommy is actually doing pretty poor? well, but... Tom's doing me and Tim. I was like, we're dumb, and Jeff's like, we're broke as <laughs> shit. Poor. Also, we're fucking poor and sad. <laughs> like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> all right. Okay. Well, we did it. This is Roommates in Law. Jeffrey, thank you for Thank you, buddy. Mary, my sister, now we're living together. 